Hi, my name is Shane Buchan. I'm running for the mayor of Kings County in the com upcoming election. I thought this would be an opportunity for me to make this video for you to get to know me a little bit better as I'm not going door to door. So Shane, what do you do for a living? I am the owner of Perry Iron Transportation Group, which operates a bus service supply company in Cambridge. We've been in business since 1963. Um, you know that very well. I do. You, you, you worked with us for 30 plus, 40 plus years. Yep. Um, and Sandy and I uh, worked together for, for 30 of those years together. I have. That's why I asked Sandy if he was able to uh, ask me these questions because uh, uh, Sandy ran in the last municipal election and Sandy's brother, my father, was the warden of the county for a number of Pretty years. Nice. So it's a real family affair for us, and uh, um, I was very happy that Sandy graciously accepted to do this, and um, so thank you. Oh, no worries there. But yeah, we, uh, we run a company in Cambridge. Um, we employ 35 to 40 people. We operate uh, 10 buses in the county. For charter work, we have two contracts in the city for the Nova Scotia Health Authority, and we sell school bus parts. We sell... Uh, Linex, box liners, a crown undercoating, and we have a muffler sh uh, shop in Auburn. And I've worked with the business since 1986, so right 35 years. Yes, a long time. It's been a long, a long time. time now. Yeah. And employed a lot of people over all those years too. Yeah, we, uh, we downsized in 2013 when we sold the business to Stock Transportation. Uh, we had at that time 245 employees. Yeah. 185 buses, and uh, we just got in the situation where it was time to maybe take it a little easier. Sure, for sure. Yeah, but uh, and been expanding ever since, though. Yeah, we've added a little bit every year. Yeah. Uh, last year we had a crown. The year before we added Linex. Yeah. So we have a body shop there, and yeah, keeping so everybody employed. It's fun. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I enjoy it. So, what kind of hobbies do you have? I ride a motorcycle. Mm -hmm. um, I do a lot. I used to do a lot of traveling before COVID. Right. I used to. Um, this is the longest I've been in Nova Scotia in my life. Yes. Um, <laughs> I'm usually, I, I used to travel quite a bit extensively. Um, I like going out to dinner, watching movies. Sure. Yep. Yep. Now, pretty much, uh, COVID has changed the lives of everybody, hasn't it? Uh, COVID really has yeah. impacted uh, uh, everyone. Um, I saw things that I never thought I would see in my life in Nova yeah. Scotia. I drove the Northwood shuttle bus yep. in Halifax where I would move nurses after their day shift and night shift and uh, the total exhaustion on, on their face. And, yeah. you know, it's really sad when you pull up to a nursing home and you, you see bodies coming out left, right, yeah. and crazy. It's very disappointing. And we're not all through it yet. No, I, you know, there's... There's people that want to take both sides of the COVID story. Right. Um, I, to me, it's real. Yeah. It's, uh, it has affected us. My business has been affected. My livelihood has been affected. A lot of businesses have been affected. A lot of people's livelihoods have changed. Yeah. And I don't believe that's ever going to come back. Um, it's, no. it's going to be a, a long road to get to back where we were pre-COVID. Yeah, for sure. So, well... You sound pretty passionate, so what are you passionate about? I'm passionate about helping people. Yeah. Um, I, I really am. I'm a, um, I've been a Shriner for 20 plus years, as you. As you yes. Uh, um, and, you know, it's, 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 good, it's a good feeling to help people. It's, uh, yeah. That's why I wanted to get involved in politics. The, uh, the satisfaction that I had from when my father passed, your brother, yeah. um, that people came up and told me stories that I had no idea that what he did for people and how he did it and and just the general nature of the helping yeah. it really it, it it really makes you feel good to be able to start something finish it and go through yeah. so I really I would say helping people would be one of my passions well I always remember that uh, Jerry used to tell us that if you don't like a situation and you don't know what uh, can what can be done to fix it just put your hand up and get involved. That's right. Right? Yeah. So that kind of leads me to the next question. Why, why do you want to get involved in politics? Well, I had a brief <clears throat> shot at it back in 2013 when I ran for MLA in, mm -hmm. uh, in King's South. And uh, I've always been involved in politics um, with, with Jerry being warden and 
Um, I liked the way that the talk was around of knowing how things change and mm -hmm. how things work. And I always wanted to get a seat at the table to, yeah. to, to, to better our county, better our way of life for people that work here yeah. and live here. Yeah. I think we can do more. I think uh, there's always an opportunity that we can provide better, better employment for people, uh, help businesses get, get successful. Um, open open the doors for, for for more opportunities for people well there certainly is a need out there no question yeah. and i think COVID has just brought it even that much closer to the to the table to us to, the, to show us what's what's out there oh yeah that we need help here i completely uh, agree we're not just uh, um the, the have the have province that we think we are uh, there's a lot of people out there need help yeah and i don't think we even realize the extent of it yet no. Um, I was watching on the news today that uh, the the rental agreements are now over. Yes. Um, so so businesses are now having to pay full full rent. Um, my business, uh, all the uh, allowances, the the extensions, the terms that I, I negotiated for March, they're all over now. So all my term loans are all due now. Yeah. Um, so. If you're not busy and you're not making money, you're going to have an awful hard time getting ahead. Yeah. Because business is down 40, 30 to 40 percent. And we're, and we're not all open all back up again. Oh, no, we're not. We're, we're still, we're still restricted of, here. We're still in a state yeah. of emergency here. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. So, no. So, what's, what's the reason that you wanted to run this particular time? I just think it's time for a change. Um, mm -hmm. You know, I, I wanted to run last time. Um, and, uh, it just wasn't, it wasn't right for me. Mm -hmm. I'm 51 years old now. Mm -hmm. I, uh, did a little math and, um, Jerry was retiring from politics at 54. Right. So, um, I'm a little late at the game if I wanted to follow in his footsteps, but, uh, um, at 51, I think I'm at the right age. I've experienced a lot in business. Mm -hmm. I've, I've learned a lot. Um, I have a lot to learn. There's no question. Mm -hmm. I, I, I learn every day and um, I'm looking to forward to working with people, um, getting different concepts yeah. in, involved here. But, uh, you know, we had some situations where we built a new building in Cambridge two years ago um, and the planning department and uh, the process, I wouldn't say has been customer friendly. Right. So I really, I really want to focus on making it better for businesses to have an opportunity to have a customer experience at the county um, where they, they, you know, if you really think about it, it's, you spend a lot of money on taxes. Um, and it'd be kind of nice to have your an questions answered and um, have somebody to talk to, return your phone calls and, and treat you like a customer. For sure. So, and we all know that without business in the local area, business that business generates the oh, incomes. Yeah. That generates the money that's spent back to everybody else. Yeah, it, it just makes it easier for everybody yeah. if, we, if we have more businesses here. And for some reason, we aren't open for business. Right. There's a lot of red tape. There's a lot of roadblocks. The answer is no to a lot of questions. Um, in, in, in my world, in your world, when, when you were working yeah. with the company, uh, we always said yes to our customers. Right. We, we had to find a way. Uh, what, do you, what are you looking for? Oh, well, we'll find it. We'll, we'll make that, we'll figure out a way to make that It wasn't that necessarily happen. always easy. It's never easy. <laughs> Something worthwhile right. is never easy. That's right. But it's worth it. So, right. um, you know, there's just so many stories uh, that I'm hearing talking to people that uh, there's a bike, custom bike manufacturer in Colbert, uh, Cambridge that, wants to expand their business, mm -hmm. but can't. Um, every, every answer to the, from the county is, no, you can't do that. No, you can't do that. No, you can't do that. Mm -hmm. um, I look at other counties around and they have the yes, we, what, yes, we can attitude. Right. And uh, unfortunately, I think a lot of our businesses are going there. Um, so we need to really adapt and change. Um, this is an absolutely fantastic county and yep, we, and we need to have more people want to do business here. Well, this is a, this. You're right. This is one of the greatest spots in the world. Uh, we we sometimes don't think of it mm -hmm. as being that because we're from here, but uh, the, the, what we have, people want it. Yeah, and want to come to it. They'll come for miles to get here. You know, I, I've traveled around the world, um, 
driving driving buses home to Nova Scotia from from California, Las Vegas, Florida right. home, and nothing feels better than when you hit Avonport right on. coming down and seeing the Bombardin. Yep. You know you you know yeah, you're home, home. and uh, there's not no better feeling in the world. So, right on. What are the important issues this time? Because there's there's always there's always every every election there seems to be some issues that need to be addressed. And what what do you think those are? Roads are a, a, a big a big thing for me personally. Wow. Yeah. Um, when I'm out riding my motorcycle, I spend a lot of time in Annapolis County. Mm -hmm. Their roads are really nice. Mm -hmm. um, our roads getting to Annapolis County aren't so nice. Yep. Um, there is a program in place. I need to I need to look into that and see see really what that's going to do for our roads but we need better roads mm -hmm. there's that's just the bottom line we're spending an awful lot of money on taxes and we need better yeah. roads rural internet yeah. um is a real issue yeah there's uh a young lady was taking a course uh in university and had to come to the business to use the the wi-fi internet to yeah. finish her course because they couldn't do it at home no I'm talking with that bus driver afterwards, and she says she's getting tired of spending her evenings in the McDonald's and Tim Horton parking lot so they can get Wi-Fi. You know, that's just not acceptable in today's day and age. No. So we really need to put a big push on the yeah. on, on internet, high-speed internet. I know that they're working. I know that there's an agreement, but five years down the road, it's not acceptable. It needs to be done now. There needs to be a better way, yeah. and we need to get it solved. Well, again, I think COVID's brought that to light again. Sure that, that that we've asked everybody to stay home. We've asked everybody to stay safe, mm -hmm. uh, but we do, they don't have the tools to, to, to carry on life. Can you imagine uh, the isolation that. if you didn't have internet? Oh wow! Yeah, I, I I couldn't. And we know there's spots within the county that but you just don't. There isn't any. You know, and there is going to be spots that are never going to have it. Right. And I and I get that. And some of the people that live there might like that. Yeah. Um, but it does, it, it depreciates your home value. It, it it does everything to you. Well, that's funny, isn't it? Because that's when you, when I, I just recently sold a, a, well, not recently, but a year ago, I sold a house. And that was one of the things, you know, yeah. do you have, do you have internet service? Yeah. 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 Well, kind of like, why would you ask why that? Why would you not? <laughs> yeah. But that's a, that's a selling factor to your, if you didn't have it, that could be a, a reason why not to buy your house. Right. So it's high speed internet's very important yeah. to me. Yeah. Um, roads. And the positivity of, of the county building and, and yeah. working in that environment, yeah. Yeah. Uh, we need to change the culture. So okay. I, I'm really looking forward to to having some changes. We gotta get open for business. Here. We have to be open for business. Right. Yeah. right. What experiences that you have would make you the right choice, you think, for this, this I think election? My, I think working in business, working in your own business, you see pitfalls that that maybe somebody else wouldn't. Owning a company, owning a business, you deal with with staffing issues, you, st you deal with employment problems, you deal with banks, loans, um, and I really do believe it's a well-rounded um, mm. opportunity to take that knowledge into that office and make some significant changes. Well, I think at this point in time, if, if, if you're in business in the Maritimes, and especially in the business that, that you're, you, you are in and have been in, uh, it's not a business that everybody, everybody walks in and has an opportunity to buy something no. from you. Uh, where you're a very specific business That's and to, su success, to be successful and succeed these many years yeah. uh, proves that you have the ability to, uh, to, to operate and run things. Yeah, so it, it, it's, it's an opportunity, I think, um, to put some of that work to use. Right. I, I, know, I know that it, it was very prosperous when Jerry was the warden mm -hmm. and his business experience. And um, I just, I have common sense and traditional values and I want to put them to use. Right. Okay. So I guess the last question I need to ask you then is why should people vote for you? Well, I'd like to think that people should vote, put the confidence in me um, for real change. Um, I'm honest, I'm trustworthy, and I'm a hard worker. Right. And uh, I'll work very hard to get some positive things done in this county. Excellent. So thank thanks, you, Shane. Shane. Thanks, Sandy, for taking the time to do no, this. It's good. Appreciate it.